hey guys welcome back to the react native course in the last video we have seen that how to make api call and render the data using the map function but in this video we are going to make api call and render the list of data using the flat list component okay so first what we're gonna do we're gonna make a function that make api call and we're gonna use flat list to render the data okay so it's gonna be a so straightforward uh, session so let's see so you can see that last time we had like you know uh, mapping the data we gonna have us we are having a scroll view and so on so let me remove all the code whole code and create a new component using typing the rnfes okay so you can see that we had um one comp one like you know on the ui we have app okay now let's uh, create a function to make api call so again i'm going to use make again that function get all products api okay and we're gonna have a async function because it's api call and that's took some time that's why we have to use async await you can use dot then dot catch as well okay now we're gonna use const response and we're gonna have a await fetch fit will take the api url so for the api i'm going to use this fake so what you have to done you have to just search on the google or whatever the engine fake store api open this api store scroll down and you can see that uh routes and the first route is called slash products click on this you get this api copy this url okay and paste it here so basically this is the data which we gonna get uh, get from this api okay now after uh, you know getting the response we have to convert this response into the json format okay so let's convert that into the json format now after converting into the json format we have to store this data in a some state so i'm going to create a state products set products okay set uh pro set products and let's make a use state and by default it's gonna be an empty array and i'm going to set this data into the set product state okay now uh, uh when we have to call the get all products we have to call this uh, get all products whenever the component get mount or whenever the app get load on the ui okay for that we have to use use, use effect hook and inside the use effect hook uh, we are calling this function get all products okay and the second parameter is called dependency array we are passing an empty dependency array and that's why like you know it's it will call the api to the only ones or uh, whenever the component get mount on the ui okay now if i console the products so you can see that on the console we are getting all this data okay now let me remove this code for now okay now instead of like in the last session we have uh, done with the scroll view but in this session we're gonna do with the flat list so let's import the flat list from the react native and it will took some data the first parameter will be data so i'm passing this products now the second parameter is called render item okay now let me create a called const let me create a, a component of function so i'm going to create a uh, function separately like const product card and inside here we are getting the item okay and we have to pass this product card to here okay and don't forget to return some things whatever you want to return uh we're gonna like you know item dot uh, title so you can see that we're gonna have we have a item dot title so we are returning this title and we can see that we are getting all the titles okay so the second parameter of flat list is called render item and the third parameter is called key extractor uh, which helps uh, flat list to understand which item deleted updated or removed and we get the item i think and we have to uh, pass the unique key as well here okay i think it's not key basically it's a key extractor okay now let's uh, style this product card so to style this product card i'm going to use style styles dot product 
card okay and let's style this basically product card as a background color is a uh, white okay and the uh, border width will be one border color will be gray for now i think and let me give some elevation as a uh, 20 maybe and some kind of padding as well of 10 okay so you can see this okay and the border is with is looking too high so let me add as a 0 0.5 okay now it's looking well now let me add a image as well okay so i have to add an image so you can see that's on this api we are having an image as well so let me add, render this image as well on this ui so image source and we have to use uri item dot item dot image okay now add a style style is equal to styles dot image okay and let me write a styling for this image quickly okay so first will be height will be a uh, hundred for now and after giving the height we gonna do uh, this size mode will be cover cover basically and let me make as a height as a 200 i think it's looking well but in the last one okay now after rendering the title let's style the title as well style is equal to styles dot uh, title and let me give some a uh, font weight and color let's define the color as a uh, black okay and the font uh, size will be 20 maybe okay now you can see the font size it's looking well okay now you can see that product cars we can give us some margin vertical as a 10 to give some spacing i think we can give a margin 10 vertical and horizontally both sides and let's give some uh it's a 15 for now i think okay and let's give some border radius as a 20 it's too high i think let's make it a 10 okay so you can see this uh we have created a product card and let's add another text for the price okay and i am gonna add a price quickly and item dot price okay so yeah so basically this is you can see that if you are using a flat list so you don't have to use a scroll view uh, and so on so it's too straightforward you get the uh, you have to pass the data whatever the data you have render item product uh, inside the render item you have to pass the component so we are passing this component and inside this component uh, props we are getting the item and we are just rendering this data okay you can console the data like you know zero index data and you can see like whatever what all the keys you are getting but i've seen like this all the data i'm getting okay let's suppose we are also getting the category so we can show the category as well here uh category category okay so this is how which you can show it guys and apart from this i think yeah so i think that's all in this video let's summarize this quickly uh all the things so what we have done we are created one function called get all products we are making api called to this function fake store api.com slash products after api call we are converting that json to the json format and we are setting that uh, data into the product state we are having a use we are using a use effect uh, hook uh, that will call the get all products function whenever the component mount on the ui or render on the ui we are using flat list to render the list of data okay the first parameter the first uh, props is called data where we have passed the data 
and the second props is called render item which will do the component and inside the product card component in props we will have access to the item and we are rendering that item dot image item dot title item dot price item dot categories we are passing a key extractor to understand which item deleted or updated it will have in the render method so we are passing item dot id as well so i think that's all in this video in the next video we are going to talk about how to make api with json server so basically we are going to talk about the json server what is json server and how can they help you out so i think yeah that's all in this video thank you guys and please let me know if you guys have any question uh, regarding front end back and mobile app development anything and please let me know if you guys liking my videos uh, like to our uh, videos and subscribe to our channel thank you bye